We're in VirtualBox. I'm going to show you how to install a Windows 8 VM. If it's not set up correctly on an Intel box, then you will end up getting an error about the kernel. So go ahead and click Other. Others. It doesn't matter. This is informational only. Next. Memory. Definitely recommend at least 1024 on the RAM. And create a new hard disk, and it's a startup disk. Go with the default on the disk image, VDI. Dynamic is a little bit easier on your hard drive resources. And we'll just call it uh, test1, and we'll give it a total of 40 gigabytes. Choose the location you want, test1. Just put it right inside there. Next, and create and create again. Alright, now we'll go into the settings and you want to make sure a couple things are checked. One is enable IOAPIC and the processor enable PAENX. If those aren't checked, this will not work. The CPUs are up to you. You can do as many as you've got available. The display, it'll, it will use the default 6 megabytes uh, memory just fine. If you want to have more than that, it will run a little smoother. Uh, you can enable audio network. So under network, this is a little different because by default it chooses the PCNet Fast 3. And we don't want to use the PCNet Fast 3. We want to use the Intel Pro 1000 MT desktop. And otherwise you'll end up with no network card. If you still see no network card, it's possible it might be one of these other Pro series. But it's going to be one of those three. And then you can click OK. And then after you start Windows 8, it should look like this. And after the installation is done, you can put in a name. And next. We can customize or use express settings. You can also put in your email address. Just put in a fake one here just to get past that. And it's trying to connect to the internet at this point. And now everything's booting up so we can enter our password if we want. Make sure it's a complex one. And that's it. It'll get right into uh, Windows after this. You can see other videos on running Windows 8.